Hey guys, it's Thursday, October 19th, I think. Anyway, I'm out in the garage, as you can see, on the treadmill, kind of sweaty and dripping, <sighs> watching movies on my iPad while I'm on the treadmill, because that's what I do, otherwise I get bored. Sorry, sweat's dripping into my eyeball. Uh, <laughs> but making sure I get my steps in, it's a great way to start the day. I've got video to edit, last week's vlog to edit. And I think there's other stuff on the camera now. It's been a while, I forgot what's on there. So, I'm gonna work through all that today, and I'll be back. It is Friday, October 19th. The little troublemaker's here. <laughs> with her parents. <laughs> it's family dinner night. We're working on a puzzle of the Capitol. No jumping. <laughs> Go play with Bandit. Anyway, we're working on the building a uh, puzzle of the Capitol and we are having a hard time. See, they're all in there working on the puzzle. I'm trying to cook the ravioli. Yeah, anyway, I'll be back. <laughs> It is Saturday morning, October 20th, I think, or is it the 21st? I don't even know. I've lost track. Anyway, it's Saturday. <laughs> um, I think it's the 21st. I think actually yesterday was the 20th, and I think I said it was the 19th. You know, I, I you guys all should know by now, I have no sense of direction, and I frequently have no idea what day it is. Anyway, this is the finished puzzle we did last night. It's our most challenging one yet. All these little pieces of the Capitol ceiling. Yeah, these were hard. And these buildings, <laughs> they were really, this particular building was really a pain, but we got it done. So a lot of fun. So it's our way of having sort of family togetherness without the TV on or the devices. We actually have to talk to each other. I love that. So anyway, all right, I'm gonna go get ready and get on the treadmill and get my steps in for the day and and we'll see where we go from there. Vlog. It's Sunday, October 22nd and we're getting ready to go out and run some errands. Yes, my hair is all wet again. We're gonna go to the bookstore. We're gonna go to the hardware store and to the grocery store. So I'll be back. So we're out running some errands. And of course I talked the husband into going to Barnes and Noble. Cause you know, I needed more magazine for my hoard. And I found this magnet. I'm gonna stick it on the cart, metal cart in my art room. Do more of what makes you happy. I like that. It's Sunday afternoon and we've been running around the house doing chores. There's Mr. Krabby Pants. Let's close the door so he can't get in the house. I've been chatting with friends, washing out my brushes. My husband says, come here, come here. We have a little visitor on the, on the garden gate. Pretty cool. So I'm here in the house and I start to hear this whack, whack, whack. And it's the husband outside taking an axe to the old broken hose thing that was so he can get it in the garbage can. <laughs> I wasn't sure what exactly he was whacking on, but now I know. And there's old Mr. Krabby Pants. You're good now, huh? Because the little troublemaker's not here today to drive your old butt crazy. <laughs> It is Monday, October 23rd, and I have spent most of the morning in meetings about the My Creative Year Facebook group uh, and art video group that's going to be on um, mainly on Facebook, but the videos will be aired on YouTube. Anyway, if you want to know more about it, you want to join the group, 
Um, there'll be a link to a video and description in the description and a link to the Facebook group in the description. It's a year-long free mixed media group anyway. <sighs> so it is almost three o'clock in the afternoon. I've gotten like nothing done. I have to go get the mail. I'm starving so I need to eat lunch. <sighs> so we're gonna go get the mail first. I did get a bunch of paperwork done. I did get the Ikea cart cleaned out, which I intended to do. I did that while I was chatting with people on the computer. But I have to film a journal flip and do a couple other things still today. But yeah, I need to stop and eat and get the mail first. All right, that's it right now. I'll be back. So, does it seem like it's dark outside? Because it is dark outside. It's almost 7 p.m. and I got talked into meeting the husband at the Masonic Lodge for work. I mean for work. For dinner, I was not planning on attending, but um, he called me and said, when he meet us there, I said, I'm dressed in my painty, I'm not leaving the house clothes. He said, doesn't matter, just come. Uh, I said, okay, I'll be right there. So here we go. How are you today? So as you saw, I was on the treadmill earlier and while I was on the treadmill, I was chatting with my art friends in our weekly um, chat session. Uh, I also got some laundry started, the dishes done, the coffee pots all cleaned out and I have a K-cup machine so that's not easy to clean, but it's clean. And um, I got the giveaways um, mailed off for the matchbook journal so if you're watching this and you were one that entered the giveaway the two winners were picked uh, in fact that reminds me I've got to mark the video closed um, but they were picked and they're mailed and uh, I had some Etsy orders that also had to be mailed and I finally got Facebook to approve a name change on my business page on Facebook yay and yes I do have a business page on Facebook and I will put it in the link tree link which is in the description below you can um, click on the link down there that says link tree it says link tr.ee slash Gina B. Aarons and if you click on it it's gonna give you links to every single place on the internet you can possibly find me all my different store links all my social media links you're even gonna get a copy uh, a, a link to the uh, LinkedIn site where my resume is <laughs> should you need it I don't know but it's there um, I don't know there's a lot of stuff I've had extra coffee today that probably wasn't a good idea <laughs> I don't know got the garbage cans all emptied all that stuff so I'm gonna go in the house and sit down my daughter's over visiting with her puppy because they lost power at their apartment and she works from home so she's like can I come over and borrow your electricity and Wi-Fi like I'm gonna say no of course I didn't say no she and the, so she and the puppy are over and um, they're inside I'm sure uh, Lily is a very sweet puppy but she's a puppy so we her nickname is the little troublemaker in case you haven't gotten that clue yet and this is your first vlog um, and my dog is old and cranky so you know he's Mr. Cranky Pants <laughs> so, anyway um, I think that's it right now I need to have some lunch really bad and then I've got to um, work on some fabric stuff and reorganizing a little bit of stuff in my art closet again today that's kind of the job today and tomorrow and uh, yeah I got some sewing to do and I'm gonna film some of it for my creative year for next year. I also have some repairs to do and I may or may not film that too, but I've got a handbag that needs repair, so I gotta do that too. That's it right now. I'll okay, be it's Tuesday evening. I'm out, ooh, the phone's gonna fall. <laughs> I'm out in the front room of my house and no one's home. I am going to work on Inktober for today. The prompt for today is blind. So I'm going to do a continuous 
I've done this before, but it's been a while. Continuous line blind drawing. So not only am I going to keep my eyes closed, but I'm not going to try to lift my pen up. I'm going to try to do something that has some facial features, maybe. I don't know. We're going to find out. It's going to probably be a hot mess, but you know. So let me set up the camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. And yeah, we'll take it from there. So there we go, a continuous line, blind uh, drawing. I kept my eyes closed. There are a lot of different ways to do these kind of drawings where you don't lift your pen up. Um, you can look or not look at the paper. I've done them where you're staring at the subject you're drawing and you're not looking at the paper. In this case, I just kept my eyes closed. and. She's an interesting, cute, hot mess, but yeah, there we go. All right, that's it for today. I'll be back. <laughs>
to uh, meeting a student in her house for, for some art coaching and then coming home to do some filming for my creative year for next year. Yeah, next year. I did say next year. <laughs> and then um, squeezing some chores in there somewhere, you know, dishes and laundry. And um, I did have to finally vacuum the floor in here because I did a few projects and the floor was just full of bits and pieces and scraps and it was bad. So it's all clean now, see? Nice. Well, except for the paint stains, but you know, <laughs> it's clean-ish. <laughs> I'm all ready tomorrow to hopefully get some journaling done and work a little bit more on my to-do list that I have of projects I want to, you know, continue to get done and caught up on. Yeah. So anyway, it's been an interesting week and um, it's all good. Um, my friend who I mentioned earlier, but I'm not going to name that's sick um, and had surgery recently, her results are not good. So everybody, I know you don't know her, I'm not going to name her, but throw some good energy out there for her. I would appreciate that. And everybody else who's suffering right now, they, all, they could all use it. Uh, that's it for today. Don't forget to check the video description for any relevant links, uh, including the link to the My Creative Year next year, the free online mixed media teaching group, uh, for lack of a better term. <laughs> It's not just journaling. We're going to be doing all kinds of things in there. And um, there'll be classes. The videos will be here on YouTube. But further instruction, direct communication, materials lists, fr the free downloads, all that's going to be over in the Facebook group. So if you want to be part of it, um, join the group. Link is below. And I, I know there's, I do actually have hair. It's just, yeah, it's there. Um, I don't know. I'm distracted by the way the top of my head looks. Um, so all those links are in the description below. My tip jar link if you want to support the free content here on YouTube and the content on Facebook is in the description. My Amazon wish list is down there. My happy mail address is down there. All that stuff. So check out the video description. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And above all, go out and have a great day. Have a great week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I will see you later. Bye, guys.